Alrighty, on this video we're going to be talking about uh, all the reasons to join Evolved PW. Alright, um, they are not sponsoring me, they're not paying me, they're not giving me anything for this. Uh, one of the GMs just asked me to do a, a my favor and do a, a quick video on why people should play on this server. And currently, this is the server that I'm playing on. It's a private server. Um, I really like uh, a lot of things about it, and I'll go through the list. There's a bunch of stuff on this list, and so I will separate this video into chapters. And so you can just, if you wanted to, go through each um, point without having to watch the whole thing if you like. Okay, uh, but I suggest watching the whole thing because it helps out the channel and helps it grow. Blah 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 yada yada. All right, let's get started. So, um, the first things, uh, the first point I want to talk about is there is little to no drama. Um, what do I mean by that is in this uh, server, um, even after a nation war event or a territory war or whatever, the drama is very low to none. I think because everything is so balanced, um, which I'll talk to later on about that, um, but it, there's very little drama. I mean, if you look at world chat and stuff, there's uh, people aren't calling each other names and talking trash all day long, which there's no real point in doing that on a game because, I mean, it's just a game, you know, just relax, enjoy it, have fun, you know? All right, so um, that's a real big plus for me. I remember in Perfect World International, which we call retail over here, um, in retail, the drama is huge. Everybody's got big egos. They think they're the, the shizzle, with they're not. Um, just because you kick ass in the game, just because you put a lot of money into it, doesn't mean that you're the shizzle. All right. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, reason number two, the GMs. Uh, the GMs are really cool here. I don't know if you remember uh, for me being on uh, Perfect World International we call retail uh, the GM's over there they're non-existent like you don't really get to talk to them over here the, every single day they're asking people if they need help and you know I, I've recently had an issue where I need to help with them and uh, they were more than happy to help out with that so that was really cool And I know there are other servers uh, where GMs are also helpful too, but um, that's just another point that I want to make on here. Uh, so reason number three, the fashion. The fashion is ridiculous here. I'm not a big fashionista. Uh, my tunes all get like one, maybe two outfits, and I keep it for the whole game. Uh, to some people, that's boring as heck to me. I can't sit there and pick out a whole bunch of different fa fa fashion stuff. I've got dungeons to run like this. All right. And let's go ahead and see this one started. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, the fashion is crazy. I'll show you right here. Um, everything, almost everything, can be bought with the event gold, which is the free gold that you get. Uh, just for a voting or B uh, staying online right so if you go out to fashion I mean this is just the shirts alone look at that it just keeps going and going and stuff that I've never seen on any, any other things like you can even use armor as fashion so you can have armor with other stuff on Um, so, again, on fashion, um, it just keeps going. Uh, let me see if I had another. So, part of the fashion, and I hope I'm not touching on another point and stuff like that, is also the the wings. Uh, you, any tune can wear any wings, all right. And then you've got your uh, mounts too. The mounts are crazy. See, if you go to the QB, which is the one you actually buy, um, if you go to the mounts on here, 
vehicles. You get vehicles here. Look at this. There's a Porsche. There's a whatever that is. Um, an Audi, a flying Audi. You get the mystery machine. Oh my God. Uh, any uh, Scooby Doo fans here? I am. When I saw that, I was like, wow. Uh, but the fashions just just keep going. Uh, for guys, if you have women that are fashionistas and uh, they want to. Explore a lot of the different fashions you can have on here. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Where the heck is the head? Oh, there it is. Um, trying to make sure I'm not dying here. By the way, I'm just doing this for fun. Just wanted to give you guys something exciting to watch. Oh shoot. Um, while I'm doing this, okay. Ah, uh, so the fashion just keeps going. Um. There's not much of Mars that so you have to be on here. Just just come on here just to look at it if you like. And you'll be amazed at how much fashion they have on here. Um, let's see. Point number four. Free to play. Uh, what I mean by free to play is um, everything is farmable. You don't have to pay a cent. Um, we do appreciate it if you help out. You know, throw a couple bucks here and there. Because this is... A private server and servers do have to get paid for uh, web hosting has to get paid for and stuff but uh, you, you, literally you can just come on here just to join and you don't have to put a cent in at any time all right so that's point number four point number five is not pay or play to win okay so there's two sides of this coin that I'm talking about Pay to win, people hate pay to win, all right? Uh, because it's it's kind of BS. If you've been playing on a game for, let's say, you know, a year, two years, whatever, and you've been working hard and building everything up and, you know, getting everything maxed out and stuff, and then somebody just starts the next day, puts in a couple hundred dollars, and then now all of a sudden they're kicking your butt. That's BS. Uh, nobody wants to play on a server like that. And one of the last servers I was on was kind of like that. It was like, guy, but it was a lot that they'd have to pay. But uh, guys would just sit there and pay. Um, I, I, what I heard, I don't know the exact numbers and stuff. Is um, they would put in eight hundred dollars, and one of the tunes, or shoot, all the tunes I had on there, were built up in the last two years, and they were kicking their butts, and they'd only been on there for like a month. Uh, okay, so it's not like that at all. Um, it's very balanced when it comes to PvP. You have to earn things. You have to, um, just for example, uh, the basic badges. And I know this is a different graphic than you're probably used to seeing, but the, on the basic badges, they're non-tradable. They're non-viable. So you have to do war song runs or lunar runs just to get basic badges. All right, that's for your rank triple nines. All right, on the other side of that is the play to win all right in some games the grinding is just ridiculous right and it'll take you years and years and years of grinding just to get to the point where you can match other people and stuff like that and, and that's not fair to the people who work full-time jobs have kids and all this other stuff so uh, this has a, a good balance of you know being able to farm everything and work towards everything and build everything but yet you can't just pay money to own everything you know what i'm saying so it's a good uh, balance it's not um pay to win or play to win all right uh, that's point number five point number six uh we still do dungeons here yep uh the reason why i say that is because uh, like one of the other servers i was on or in uh, pwi in pwi people stop doing dungeons because you can just pay for everything so people are like you know why why am i gonna do it or, or you know um they expect other people oh jeez um they expect that you're gonna be doing the same thing so they don't do the dungeons and it's ridiculous because here developers have spent all this time and money making all these dungeons and stuff and they're actually pretty fun especially like on this server you're not so OP that you can just 
I like I, I still have a chance of dying on any one of these tunes in here, right? Um, but ah, shit, dude, man, it keeps running past me. I'm gonna put this mech down over here. Um, so that's point number six. They still do all the dungeons, and we still do um, EU, AU, um, War Song, Lunar. I mean, you need all of those on here, right? So it's still fun. It's still fun to do all the dungeons and stuff. Uh, it, it would suck to just play a game and just sit around and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's point number six. Point number seven is PP, PvP balance. Oh, okay. I check my bar. Um, so PvP balance. What I'm saying is uh, because we don't have some of the... Uh, big ticket items that give you a lot of spirit and stuff the pvp on here is pretty darn balanced uh everybody and anybody as long as you get all your you know your tiles done your uh, meridian um, you don't have star charts you don't have uh numerous uh, cards here uh but as long as you get all those done which you can easily get them done you know within six months or whatever and then you can be right up there with anybody else and so nobody's gonna be totally overpowering anybody. Um, like my barb is has only been on this server uh, for I think like three months, and you know I, I get my butt kicked by some of the other people and stuff like that. But uh, it, it's not to the point where there's one shot. I mean, at least I have a chance to uh, put up a shield and or run away and stuff if I need to. So the PvT, PvP is very very good on this server very balanced all right you still need to have skills though of course <laughs> all right so let's go to point number eight uh, PVE is still challenging what I mean by that is you still have to figure out stuff you still need to um, be able to complete the, the dungeons and stuff it's not just one person who can just go through any dungeon and, and uh, dominate. Like, you still have to have a team for a lot of these dungeons. Uh, for example, Flow Silver Palace. Even in the side mode, I can't solo any uh, any of my tunes. Can't solo that. Uh, even three of them together, like I'm doing this cave uh, with three tunes at a time, and and this is War Song, of course. Um, but in Flow Silver Palace, I can't do that. In Molten Mines, I can't do that. Um, uh, EU and AU, oh, no, I still can't do that. I, I still need extra help and stuff like that. So, uh, PvP is still, or PvE is still a challenge, alright? Okay, let's see. Okay, so reason number nine is there's no G17 uh, weapons uh, there's no star charts and no numas no avatar cards and no glyphs all right so all those can make you very OP um, and especially in PV some of those can make you really OP and stuff like that, but they don't have that here. So uh, that's another part of the balancing of the PvP is they don't have these crazy um, uh, buffs on there that will just make you so OP that nothing becomes challenging. All right? And I remember the G17 weapons. There was a skill on there that makes you untargetable. Why play a game with someone when you can't even target? Them? There's no chance. There's no win. You just Put on the the weapon and grab a a, um, a catapult in territory war and just run with it, and then nobody can target you. It's there's no rig. Some of that stuff they just went overboard on in. Um, oh, these are getting finished. Okay, so wood is done. I think earth is done. Water is done too. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to give you something entertaining to watch while you're listening to these, uh, these reasons. All right, uh, reason number ten is everything is farmable. Uh, so 
everything is farmable on here. Um, your Crown of Madness is farmable, all your rank triple nines, all your plus 12 orbs, um, all your attack and defense shards, everything is farmable on here, okay? So, um, anybody can get on here. And I, yeah, sometimes it takes time, sometimes you have to open packs or, or whatever, stuff like that, but everything is farmable on this one, okay? Reason number 11, Interval and channel blessings okay let me see i'll show you on here uh this is actually pretty cool i thought this would be something like of a mistake that they made and stuff like that but um because i really hate aps uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll do a whole other video on that but they have an aps blessing here and a ct blessing which is channeling time blessing i do believe that stands for um but that the channeling time is for the mages so if you're a person who loves playing mages and you want to be a very fast uh, mage yeah. then you can get one of those blessings all right so those are really cool okay <sighs> banks repairs etc is in your inventory when it comes to banks, repairs, and etc., is in your inventory. Uh, right here is all your buttons. All right, so you can access your mail. You can't be in a dungeon to access some of this stuff. Uh, I think you can as long as you're not fighting too. Uh, but your mail, your bank, your if you want to add sockets, refine, uh, do conversions, imbue, or purify anything like repairs. Everything is all in your inventory. So y you don't have to sit there and go to town every time you want to do something simple all right so that is very convenient and every server should have it so if you're in one of those other servers that are watching this for tips and stuff yeah you might want to add that okay uh God, it's such a relief when you, you know it's, if let's say you're in the middle of a delta right full delta and you can't leave but someone doesn't have um all their charms or whatever it's very convenient just to come here pick it out give it to them and you're fine Okay, reason number 13, uh, you get three accounts per each IP address, okay? So that means each household that's connected to your ISP, internet service provider, you get three accounts. But if you have, like in my household, we have two people that play um, on this game, on this server, and so we had to put in a ticket, uh, request uh, the GMs to let us get the... Uh, two different accounts um, sorry six different accounts um, because I like to have three and my girlfriend likes to have three accounts and so uh, they work with you on that and you can totally have it done so uh, that's another cool thing and it's not like in perfect world international where you one guy can have 12 accounts on at the same time and then you know you see those train of 12 tunes going at town like who the heck would do that three is enough for me i'm pretty sure people think i'm crazy for doing three um, but when you're talking about 12 that's ridiculous all right number 14 reason is auto clickers um, on this server you can have auto clickers so what is an auto clicker i will show you that's an auto clicker. The one I use here is called the GS Auto Clicker, and that lets you do exactly what it says: auto click. So if I were to press this on, I've got it set to open two packs over here at a time. So when I do that, it will just sit there and just click them. Um, and so when you're opening up thousands and thousands of packs, it's really helpful. You don't want to sit there. And um, go through them all, and it's it just a pain in the butt. So, oh, here, I'm actually, I forgot he's using that macro, so he wants to be in tiger form. There we go. Okay. So, that's rule number, or uh, reason number 14. <clears throat> By the way, I'm losing my voice because of all this talking I'm doing. Reason number 15 is tradable molds. Okay, um, all these molds here that you use for your rank triple nine are all tradable. The weapon molds, the armor molds, 
uh, which is super helpful uh, because when you're farming Warsong and you know some, I remember uh, in Perfect World International we were trying to get the uh, Pataka for my girlfriend's uh, Vino and it took six months of farming I'm not kidding you six months just to get that weapon mold it, because it's so rare and nobody ever had it and I don't know maybe the drop rate on it was so low or whatever but here um, your faction or, or whoever you want can sit there and uh, bank all these molds and so that when someone needs it hey you know I need this mold I need that mold boom got it there you go here I wanted to show you real quick that the molds are in fact uh, tradable there you go. Uh, but the one thing you can't farm on here is the basic badges, which is cool because it makes you work uh, for it. All right, and actually that is number 15. And that's the last reason why you should play on the server. All right, um, if you have any other reasons and stuff, Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear um, other reasons um, that you have, that why you like this server, why you like the server that you're on. Um, uh, I know I've played on Perfect World International for I think like eight years, and I played on another private server for two years, and that ended up being a, a big PvP favorite server and pay to play, and it was just too much. Barb's getting my punctures over here. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and put that down. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and leave in the comments whether or not you like this server, that server, or whatever server you like. And let me know if this helps you out, or if you want to, you know, Making decisions, whatever. And you have any questions, whatever, just send it in my comments. I try to answer everybody back as soon as I can. Um, it might take a couple days though, just depending on how busy I am. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, I'm not paid by uh, the GMs. I'm, I'm, I wasn't given any kind of special items or anything like that. I'm just doing this for fun and I like this server a lot. Okay, so, anyways, I'll have to say. Peace, and I'll see you guys back in the game. Peace.